Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've been gone for a little bit. I posted an Ilya lipstick swatching video a couple of days ago and it was just like a couple of minutes long. It was a short one. But basically, I just wanted to let you guys know that I was okay, that I'm alive. <laughs> and uh, I just want to do the, I uh, get ready with me at Chit Chat. I'm going to show you a couple of new products that I have, but it's not going to be anything. I'm not doing the Natasha Denona today or the Elf. Um, I am going to probably film that tomorrow, but today I just wanted to be relaxing. I do want to show you a couple of things I received in PR, but you know, it, I just wanted to be a fun video, kind of talk to you, give you a little bit of a life update and just chill. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to be showing you some PR I got from Merit. Um, and the rest of the stuff is things that I already own. Oh, a new mascara that is a blue mascara. Okay. I really, really like it. And I'm going to show you how you can make it pop even more because on dark lashes, when you wear like blue or burgundy or something like that, at least on me, it still looks black. So I'm going to show you how I can make it pop more. All right. So if you're interested in that, let's start this All video. All right, guys. So I already have my um, skincare done. It is late in the day. It's like almost five o'clock in the afternoon. But my husband decided to change the oil in my car. And I said, well, this is a fine time to do a quick video. So I'm not going to wear any primer today because I want you to see how this foundation looks without a primer. A uh, few videos back, I showed you some PR that I received from Ilya. And in that PR, I received their stick foundation. And I didn't try it that day because they also sent me their uh, tinted SPF. And I wanted to save this for another video. So I have used this several times. I want to say that I really do enjoy it. And I love the way that their packaging is dented. When I first received it, I thought it was damaged, but then I looked online, I saw all of them were like that. They did send me two different shades and I gave this one to my daughter-in-law, the other one. And then this, the uh, tinted sunscreen, I gave it to my daughter. My daughter prefers um, skin tints or she prefers thinner foundations or more than a natural foundation so the skin tint she loves she likes the fact that it does um a great job now i was looking because they're always showing they always pop up on my facebook or instagram and people complain about the smell okay Ilya is a good it's a clean brand and they the smell this one i don't think is this one doesn't i don't find a scent the other one smells like they say it's because of the sunscreen that they're using in it but to me it just smells like organic it doesn't have like a perfume covering up the smell this one is doesn't have a scent at all this one i don't believe has any spf no this one doesn't have any any spf the other one is like 40 40 something i do like that one i wear that one a lot it's it actually has nice coverage and i'll link the video below of where i used it and i really do enjoy it this one does a, a great job and th the other one i gave it to my daughter-in-law and she told me it's definitely one that she will repurchase so she was very happy to get it so just a little bit of life update i have not been i'm going to put before i build it up i'm going to put a little bit of a this is the neutrogena corrector because I'm going to use the foundation as my as my concealer so um, the reason I haven't been on is my son and all his his wife and his children is five of them well five total they have no wait six the baby and then three kids my son has two children by his previous marriage and she has one uh, daughter they're all going to Columbia um, they leave tomorrow and they're gonna be gone they're not coming back until the 4th of July so I have been spending as much time as I can with my grandchildren um, by the time I get home um, I mean it's not, not super late in the day but I'm exhausted um, you know the baby is very hands-on and yeah I get pretty tired my back is killing me also, I have been, I was so behind on so many of my doctor's appointments. Some of them, guys, I had not been since before COVID. 
um, yeah, like my, for my glasses, I had not been there since 2019. <laughs> so, um, I decided to go ahead and get all my appointments done and out of the way. I still have a couple more that I need to do, but yeah, those are the most important ones. So anyways, last week, my husband and I had doctor's appointments. I had labs, uh, actual appointments. Let me put a little bit under my eyes. So I went to the ophthalmologist. Well, now they changed. I used to go to, to the ophthalmologist yearly. Now the office, the ophthalmologist doesn't see you unless you have a problem. So you actually see an optometrist. So I look kind of washed out, guys. Let me fix the lighting. Okay, I think that's a little better. So, um, so anyway, I went to the optometrist. My husband and I both went. And because I needed contacts and glasses because my glasses are super old and I haven't had contacts in probably five years. So when I got, my husband went first, he got his exam, he got his contacts. When it was my turn, my left eye, I can see perfect close up. My right eye, I can see better far away. But when I'm when I'm using both of them, I can't see well far, far away distance. So I have mono vision. I use my left eye for close up, my right eye for distance, and that's how I get my contact lenses. But when they were trying to measure me for this one, he couldn't get a reading. You know how they do one or two, which one can see you better, one or two, one or two. Okay, I couldn't see. And the funniest thing is he finally said, why don't you do the little thing, the little knot that they use to switch it and find your prescription? He goes, why don't you do it and see if you can find something? I never got to play with the instrument myself. I said, no, I can't do any better than you. I can't see. I can see a line, but I can't read it. So he said, I have cataract, cataract, uh, cataracts, ca ca cataract, cataract, cataract. Oh my gosh. You know what I mean? On this eye. And I have a little bit on this eye, but this eye still was not ready for surgery. This one needs surgery. So then they did a uh, an appointment for me to go see the ophthalmologist this week. Okay, so one of the things that Merit sent me was one of their cream um, blushes in Beverly Hills. I do own it in the mini. And guys, I they have sent me PR in the past. But I, I want to show you, I have purchased, I don't know if you guys can see inside the bag, I have purchased a lot of merit. So um, not everything that's in here has been sent to me in PR. So I'm definitely a fan. The only one that I'm not that crazy about is the foundation that you can use as a foundation or as a, or let's do the bronzer first, Clara. That you can do the foundation or concealer to me I, I like a little more coverage I'll use it but is it something that I will repurchase probably not honesty okay I like PR but I'm not gonna lie about it so I'm gonna use their bronzer and this one I purchased myself and this is in the shade clay so I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand this is a shade and I'm gonna pick it up with a brush and apply it to my face so, um, yeah, so I'm going to see if I can just get it from the, so yeah, so he tells me that I need surgery. So they had to make an appointment to see the ophthalmologist today. So when I went in today, I have to go through the whole thing again, having my eye dilated, have it, having the, uh, you know, how they numb your eyes so that they can put whatever little light is like right against your eyeball and you don't feel it. Okay. They had to do all that again which i wasn't a fan but i didn't want to complain because this man is going to do surgery on my eyeball so i'm not going to be you know <coughs> i'm not going to be complaining right now but after my surgery i think i'm going to tell him that when he has a patient that is in you know 60s that especially when he saw me last time he saw the beginning of cataract 
so, you know, growing on my eyes. I shouldn't have to see the optometrist first. I should be able to see him. So this is a very subtle bronzer, which I like. It's also very creamy and very easy to blend and apply it to your face. So now I am going to use the, um, the blush. I'm going to use mine. I'm not going to open the one that they sent me because, you know, why open it if I have the same shade? So anyways, when he examined me today, he tells me I need surgery on both eyes. I told my husband, why? Why is it every time I go to a doctor, I go for one thing and I get a bonus extra, you know, service that I need. Why? You know, I just laugh. I said, but the, the optometrist, he goes, no, you need them both. Because even the optometrist said, your other eye, you can have it done now but you have to pay out of pocket i'm not gonna pay out of pocket i have insurance it can wait if i don't need it so anyways uh we're going on vacation with my daughter like mid july and then when we come back we're going for a week and then when we come back we go to the beach for a week so i didn't know what to do i didn't know whether to schedule it now i mean my my vision has been very blurry so i kind of would like to see if it improves and he says that the lens is now you know most of the time you don't even have to wear contacts afterwards you know he says 85 percent of the people don't have to wear contact lenses and i don't have anything strange going on in my eyes so he thinks i would be a great candidate for you know a new lens and that i, I would should be able to see without contact lenses or glasses so anyways i went ahead and and this is their their highlighter and this is in the shade there's several shades bounce and this is the nice thing about this highlighter is it's almost it's almost like a bomb as you can see it really doesn't have like a lot of color now this highlighter has a little bit of a strange scent <laughs> um but I think again it's because of the ingredients it doesn't smell you know like it's bad but it has a little it's not anything that I smell it like if I put it up to my nose but like as I'm applying it I can smell it but if I bring it up to my nose I can smell it but as you can see it just gives you like a little bit of a glow to your face but it's not I have like a hair on my face that drives me crazy but it's not um you know it's not like sparkly or anything like that it is beautiful it looks very nice it doesn't accentuate any kind of oh my god i have to find this hair if you have texture on your face it's not going to accentuate it it's very pretty and that's the thing that i feel is the best thing about about merit it is very mature skin friendly and it really looks nice on our face so I'm going to use a little bit of powder under my eyes. I'm going to use this one from Hourglass. And I also have this one. But I use this one so much more than the one from Hourglass. And I feel like I need to use my expensive powders. Because <laughs> I paid a lot of money for it. Yes, the uh, Wet n Wild is nice. But it's not even $10. It could be $10 now. You know? I don't know. I feel like the blush. I need a little more blush. Why am I so washed out? I feel like I am washed out. Why, why, why? There. I don't think it was really... It's like, is it making me mad? Okay, let me use a little more. I do have a brighter color that maybe I can put on. And this one, I find that you can wear over powder. And it looks fine. It doesn't lift anything up. Which I also like. But it feels like, I don't know, maybe when I go edit, I'll have clown cheeks. But that's nothing new. So anyways, I went ahead and I um, scheduled my first surgery for next week. It will be the right eye, which is the one that is the worst. And then the other one I will do after all the vacations. He says you have to wait at least two weeks. And that would be um, way over two weeks, so... I lost the lid to the, oh, here it is, 
I was gonna say, I lost the lid. Camera, focus on my face and stop being all over the place. All right, so my face it just, I still feel like I have a hair there, but okay. Okay, this is my powder. Let me just powder around my nose a little more. All right, so they also sent me a brow, a brow gel, but I had one that I purchased myself. So I'm going to use that, and this is a medium brown, just this brown. And um, the brush is, is, I like them a little smaller, but it's not too big. It's still okay. But I wish it was a little smaller. Actually, I think this one is almost dry, so let me try the new one. This feels dry. And the packaging looks the same. Let me put this one far away, make sure I don't throw away the wrong one. The brush is the same size. Oops. Oh, this one doesn't feel a lot wetter. <laughs> um, I guess it's just not real juicy, which is fine. Sometimes when they're juicy, they're like too much product. My under eye, I don't think I powder my under eye. Boy, I haven't filmed in like two weeks and uh, I'm all over the place. I forgot how to do this. Let me powder my under eyes a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't like them shiny. And then I feel like if it's too creamy, which that, um, not so much the foundation, but the corrector is very creamy and moisturizing. So I think it makes a big difference. Okay, for my eyes, I want to do something really simple and quick. And I'm just going to use two cream pencils. And this one is from ColourPop. And it's in the color, it's a shadow stick. And the color Walnut Avenue. This is matte. And this one is an aqua shadow from Makeup Forever and is in the shade 20E. And it's supposed to be waterproof. It doesn't have any other name. Just 20E. So we're going to start with the glowy one. I have not used this before. I actually was able to get like... These are, these are pretty pricey, and I was able to get like 10 of them on Mercari for like $30. So it's like $3 a pencil. <laughs> you can't beat that. I was going to put a, a primer, but guess what? I guess I have a little bit of foundation on there, so it's okay. Because I forgot the primer. I tell you, you don't film for two weeks and... You forget how to do this. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to miss the kiddos quite a bit. And the baby. My grandkids call me Uva. I think I've told you guys that before. My oldest, that is now 25. Um, he's going to be 26 this October. He started talking early. He was like 8 months old. And I was trying to teach him how to say Abuela. And he started saying uva and couldn't change it so that stuck the rest of them started saying it also this is very creamy the um the color pop one so just go very go easy on it so anyway um you know i spent a lot of time with the baby and lately she says mama she you know, she calls my daughter in law mama and she calls my dad my son either dada or papa she says both and she i thought she was saying uwa and we got together at my daughter's house for father's day and my daughter goes mom i think she's saying uwa i said i don't know if she's saying uwa i don't want to start claiming it she goes i think she is but yesterday she said it so many times so I told my son, hey, I think she's saying ooh, I don't know whether that's baby talk or she's saying it, but I'm taking credit for it. I'm saying she's saying ooh. She's so fun. So anyway, I do have quite a, oh, poke myself in the eyeball. I do have quite a few uh, new products to sh share with you, and I plan on doing videos tomorrow. I'm going to try to 
uh, do extra videos for next week. I'm not going to be able to wear eye makeup. Well, I tell you, no makeup for a couple of days. I already found out. For like four days. And then no eye makeup for, I think they said like a week. So, but I mean, I can do other stuff besides the eye makeup. So I think that's all I'm going to do on my eyes because I want you to be able to see the, the mascara. I think I need a little more powder. I love cream products, but I really don't like when, when they're super dewy because I think, I think that they show your pores show a little more. So I'd rather take a little bit of the dewiness off so that it's not as harsh on my face but i do like them i think they're very mature skin friendly but but these yeah they show a lot of texture i've been using my retin-a more often so to see if it helps with my pores because my pores are out of control oh my gosh you guys i still have something Am I imagining a phantom hair on my face? So I'm going to do one eye um, the without a primer. And then I'm going to use the other one with a primer. I feel that if I use the white primer. Oh my gosh, I think I found it. I should win a prize. I should win a prize for finding that hair because it was very annoying. So I'm going to use my right, my right eye, I'm going to use it with a primer so you guys can see. I think that the mascara looks bluer. Now it's not, you know, like a bright blue. I don't like that. I want it to be almost black, but I want it to show a little bit of the blue. And so funny because Alyssa, my nine-year-old, ten-year-old now, she noticed right away. She goes, oh, are you wearing a blue mascara? I said, yes, I am. She goes, oh, that is so cool. So I wanted it, you know, I don't really care if people notice or not. I do it for me. I don't do it for other people. But I didn't want, I don't want like a royal blue, you know, ocean blue. I don't want that. Now I want to get the burgundy one and try like this. So I do try to pack, you know, make sure my lashes are covered so that it's gonna show more. So I'm gonna give it a second. I know, but I usually go in like right after. I don't like for the um, primer to dry, but I kind of want it to stick there for a second. And this is what it looks like. I'm gonna show you. This is what it looks like on my hand. But as you can see, you know, it's not like, I mean, that looks very blue, but I don't, if you have lighter lashes, it'll probably look blue on you or more blue. But I have very dark lashes. My lashes are black. Oh, I think I just got... No. So, I don't think it's going to, you know, look as blue on me because of my dark lashes. Now, if you have, like, blonde lashes, I'm sure that this is going to look very blue and this is by covergirl by the way i didn't even tell you what it was it's the lash blast clintopia mascara by covergirl and the shade is i will link everything below but the shade is oh my gosh i cannot read it but definitely will have it linked below it's like marine black or something like that i'm pretty sure it has the word black in there I was keeping the um, the box, the outer packaging, so I could tell you guys more about it. But I think I accidentally threw it away. When I'm cleaning up, I forget that I was saving it. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other eye. One. And then I'm going to move you up so you guys can see if you can tell the difference. I can tell the difference with the, with the primer. You really do have to build it though, okay? If you just do like one coat, it's not going to show up that much on dark lashes. I, I love to see it. I haven't seen that many people review it. I like to see someone with light um, eyelashes review it to so see how it looks. Now I'm going to move you up so you guys can see. Without the primer, with the primer, can you see it? 
let's put another coat but it does give you volume and some length tell you the truth guys now that I'm looking at my brows I have better brow gels that are drugstore than the mirror one okay it is very very I guess if you have a lot of hair oh my gosh I'm just painting my face with this mascara if you have a lot of brow hair which I feel like I have a decent amount of brow hair and you don't need a lot of you know filling in or anything is okay but I think that's why I don't use it that that much because it really doesn't have that much coverage and most of the time I like to just use a tinted brow gel and that's it on my brows and with this one I just don't think it's enough okay so ignore the mess on my nose and on my lid and do you see the, the navy blue now I think it's nice I like it oh my gosh but did I make a mess okay let me clean up this mess that I made on my face and we'll be back for lips um, by the way this removes very easily with uh, you know with your cleanser now 99% of mascaras unless it's waterproof which I don't really wear or is a tubey mascara it does flake I'm not no, it doesn't flake it does smudge under my eyes so I normally don't wear this under my eyes but um, otherwise like my top my top lashes are fine I don't have a problem with it okay so they did send me let's pull it out they sent me this lip oil and this is in the shade is this what they call it it's the shade it's the slick jelly yeah tinted lip oil and this is in maraschino so I'm going to use this by itself just to show you what it looks like and then we'll do the lipstick so if I put it on my hand it really has like no shade so I would say I mean my lips look like a little pinkier not much but this will probably look very pretty on top of a lip liner okay so it feels very comfortable i own other ones that i have purchased myself i don't i don't know the jelly i don't, i own the the lip gloss i own the lip glosses but it feels very like a lip oil but it doesn't feel thick it feels very light very slippy um moisturizing i don't know how long it will last on my lips like without having to reapply i will use it on its own and let you know but it feels nice and again i think if you have a you know a lip liner all over your lips this will look really pretty so we're going to take this off and we're going to do the lipstick that they sent me okay so the lipstick that they sent me is a new shade and this is in the uh, satin lipsticks it is called ginger and it's the signature lips so it's the initial lipsticks that they release so that's the color right there so it's very pretty so let's go ahead and do a lip liner and this is just a Maybelline color sensational number 115 totally toffee this is so pretty such a pretty lipstick uh, lip liner my lips feel still very moisturizing then after taking that um, lip oil off very pretty I like the fact that it's not super nude or that it's not super orange when they said ginger I thought it was gonna be more an orange shade but it's very pretty so that's it they sent me again they sent me the beautiful lipstick they sent me the brow gel which I would say skip the brow gel uh, they sent me the blush and the lip oil so they sent me four products and thank you so so much Merit and you guys know I will always be honest with you and Merit don't take this the wrong way but I just feel that I 
need a little more on my brows. I need a little more pigment if this is all I'm going to use. Now, if I used a pencil first and then I went to set this with my brows, I think it would, I would, I would go to set my brows with this. It would work. Um, it doesn't make them feel crunchy. I mean, you can tell that they have hold on them. So, you know, this is just a preference for me because I would say 80% of the time I don't use anything else on my brows but a, a brow gel. But and like, again, if you use a pencil first and then you use this, I think it would be it would be amazing. It would be great because I don't like brow gels that make my brows crunchy. And let's see if I can build it up a little. You can. Now that it looks a little darker. So I guess that's another option. You can let it dry a little and then go over it and that will fix it if you don't mind doing that. But brow gel is something that I don't feel like you really need to spend a lot of money on. There's so many amazing drugstore brow gels that I don't think this is a necessary expense that we need. I'd rather spend it on a nice blush. Uh, let me see if I can find another blush here that has a little more color. Okay, this one is called Cheeky. Let's put a little bit of this one on. They're all beautiful. I own, like I said, I think I own just about all of them. There goes a the box. And they're all really, really pretty. And I like the fact that you can put it over powder, that it doesn't pull. Now, if I use their foundation, because I think it's a thinner consistency, it does pull it sometimes. But I notice that if I use a foundation that has a little more body, a little more substance to it, it doesn't pull the product. So, so here we go. This one is, again, this one's cheeky, which is more of a cool pink. And this one is Beverly Hills. This one right here, which is lighter. And I say it's a little, it has like a little peach in it. And this one is like, like a cooler pink. They're both beautiful. I also own Terracotta. Terracotta is a very natural, like a very neutral color. If you want, you know, if you're doing like a bronzy look or something like that, this one will look beautiful. This one is Fox. This is another gorgeous one. That one is so pretty. That's Fox right there. This is probably one of my favorite ones, Fox. I would say Fox and Cheeky. This one's Stockholm. And during the holidays, sometimes they come out with, this one is, I got four of them on a holiday um, kit. And this one is, what did I say, Stockholm. Look how pretty that is. That's very cool. Very pretty, like a cool pink. This one is persimmon. Is that how you said persimmon? <laughs> Let's do it on the inside. This one is beautiful too. Very pretty. So anyway, guys, that is all I have for you today. Again, this is, I think, um, a very nice look. Uh, kind of like... Um, I don't know I just enjoyed talking to you guys and spending a little bit of time and showing you some new products that I received once again Merit thank you so much for sending this to me by the way guys I wanted to let you know you guys know I love 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 RMS and I was fortunate enough to receive some PR from RMS which I'm gonna be sharing with you soon but they also gave me a discount code and that's Clara B20 so you can get 20% off any purchase and I've told you guys before that if you subscribe for their emails you automatically get free shipping it doesn't matter how much or how little you spend on their website and you earn points and their points are I think it's like a point for every dollar that you spend they add up pretty quickly <laughs> yeah anyways um, if you love them as much as I do, they add up pretty quickly. But anyways, guys, so I definitely would recommend RMS. I love, 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 love them. They have a brand new powder that I had purchased, but they also sent me send it to me in PR. But I got like, I purchased the light one. I haven't had them send me the medium one. So that if I have a foundation that is too light, I can actually 
add a little color to my face. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for spending some time with me. I'm gonna try really hard to pre-film before my surgery and um, before my uh, vacation so that I can at least post. I'm gonna go for two videos a week. Uh, I was trying to do three, but it's been really hard. So right now, if I can do two videos a week and then after everything settles down, if I can do three videos, I would go ahead and try my best to do that. If you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed, I hope that you enjoyed this video and you consider subscribing. I really would love to have you and it's free. And for you guys that follow me, if you have any friends that you think would enjoy my channel, please, you know, send them my way. I would love to have them. And thank you so, so much for your support, always being here for me. I truly appreciate it. And I really do love you for it. Truly, truly do love you for it. Okay, you guys. I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Mwah.